Welcome, folks, to another Game Hoarder Let's Play production. We're going to be doing Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery EP with songs and sounds by Jim Guthrie. Let's go ahead and begin. This is a highly unusual type of game, but we'll let you decide if you like it or not. Just go ahead and turn up your speakers, turn up the volume, put on some headphones even, and enjoy the wonderful soundtrack that is accompanying with this game. Ladies and gentlemen, how's about you tap these two little sylvan sprites so I can get a feel for your stereo sound system? Our research indicates that social support networks will play a significant positive role in the outcome of SSNSCP. The ability to broadcast your findings is an entirely optional component. It is intended to be used in moderation. We are profoundly grateful that you have chosen to participate in this experimental treatment for acute soul sickness. You'll find that this first SSNSCP session to be fairly straightforward. It typically only requires 15 to 30 minutes to complete. Ready to begin? Press play and let's go. Look. Listen. Tip tap. From the war ravaged steppes of Scythia, we met a dark haired girl in a sunlit meadow. To the mountain folk of the Caucasus, she was known as Girl, and she seemed nice. Interesting. In the meadow there was an immovable iron gate blocking the cavernous cave. We spied a few worthless sheep lazing around in the meadow. Now this first session is just to basically familiarize you with the concept and controls of the game. It's extremely simple to play through. Zoom in, and you can zoom out. Inside the hut, we spied a little round something or other above the hearth. Inside the hut, the hearth was quietly crackling with familiar warmth. After a few seconds of rest, we were ready to continue on our journey. Huh? The wood chopping woodsman chopped wood. To the mountain folk of the Caucasus, he was known as Logfella, and he seemed cool. Lockfella knew all about our woeful errand, and he agreed to lead us up the old road. Still, we definitely got the feeling that he wasn't super jazzed about this. the screen around just holding down the left mouse button and kind of panning around things 
can shake the bushes up a bit. Hey. Scythia, Samaria, Assyria, and Persia. These are all the kingdoms of men. Mingata is the kingdom of the cloud. Hey. Beside a log bridge on an old road stood a grim flagpole, adorned with the blocky-looking skulls. By the side of the old road, there was a stone carved with a pair of glyphs, in the shape of a sword and a shield. Fight? Damn right. Yes, do it. Fight. Spider weathered looking nest box that looked kind of like a face in a creepy way. We spied the solitary grave at the edge of the perilous precipice, and we wondered what was up with that. Strange looking cave. <laughs> the woodsman known as Lockfella had chosen to chill out beneath a stone shelter near the perilous precipice. Logfellas seemed to know all about the loathsome rainbow and the nearby glyph depicting the skyward sword. And yet, Logfella offered zero help about what to do next, which kind of rubbed us the wrong way, if we were being totally honest. At the edge of the perilous precipice stood a stone carved with the glyph of a skyward sword beneath the colors of a rainbow. We Scythians loathe rainbows.
had a bridge. The chasm. And we felt super smart. We told Logfellow that we sought a burdensome book of sinister sorcery known as the Megatome. The Megatome lurks somewhere in the haunted darkness beyond the perilous precipice beneath Mingi Tall. We resolved to go get the Megatome and then get out alive. Hopefully. Beside a rickety bridge stood a grim pole creepily adorned with an antlered skull. Trespass. Yes, I shall. Ooh, a deep and dark cave. Despite an ominous statue, but we didn't worry too much about it. Spotted an antler skull floating in the darkness beneath Mingi Tall. We spied a pictograph representation of the Trigon, Trifecta, in the darkness beneath Mingi Tall. We found the Megatome collapsed in two bone hands and we felt our sword stir in its sheath.
Hey. Come back for some more dog? Bring it. We had retrieved the Megatone, and Longfellow was 100% ready to move it, move it, to the safety of his lodgings. We had sensed a gathering thunderstorm, and yet a little song began in our heart. in the deathless specter who slumbered in the darkness beneath Minging Tall. Yikes. Consequently, a sinister thunderstorm looms, and the lovely people who live in the stone hut are a little heartbroken. The upshot is that you've got the burdensome book known as the Megatone. In our next session, we'll discuss its strange purpose. Our research shows that the prolonged exposure to the mythopoetic Psychocosmology of SS and SEP can have adverse side effects. So now that you've completed session one, how's about we take a little break? I'll be right here when you're ready for session two. <laughs>